Hello designer friends, I am Puranjay Parmar and I welcome you all to Framer Foundry. In this video, we will be discussing everything about components. What are components? Why do we need component? How to create a component? Terminology is related to component, things related to components and much more. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first question we have, what are components? So components are basically your reusable assets. Things that you will be using multiple times on your project, you can create a component for it. Now the second question arises, why do we even need a component? We can straight away create a button or a card or whatever thing we require and we can duplicate it, right? Let me explain you this with an example. Well, let's say you have created a button, as you can see here right now, and you have used this button multiple times on your project. Now later on, you thought of creating some changes to this button, and you have made this change here, 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 well I've lost count. But will you do this manual work? Well come on, we are in the age of AI, things are getting automated. Get yourself upgraded too. This is where the components come. With components, you can make the changes to the primary button and that changes would be all over transferred to wherever this button has been used, right? So this is the power of creating components. All right, so now we have seen the reason why components are required. Now let us jump onto our canvas and see how you can create components inside Framer. We will be discussing about components, creation of components. Also, we will be discussing about variable and variants. Like what are, what are those stuff and how they are related to components and how you can use those inside your projects. So let's jump onto our canvas. Right, so as you all can see, I am on my Framer canvas and uh, I have created a basic button and now we will create a component from it. So first of all, we will have this option of creating a component. We will just have a right click on our button and we will get this option of create a component. Once you have this, you will give a name to it. Uh, let's say it's a primary button. And once I have click on create, it would take us to a new page, a new frame altogether, a new section altogether, where we have various options like creating a hover or press state or creating a variant. So let us explore the hover state and press state first. So we are all familiar with hover state and press state. Now let me give you a basic overview of how things work in framework. So in framework, whatever changes you make to the parent component, or the primary component it would be passed on to the children or it would be passed on to next components that have come out from it right so whatever changes you make onto the primary variant it would be passed on to the different versions of it but if you make some changes to children then it won't be uh, passing back to the parent so this is basically a chronology of working on framework, on working on designs on framework. Uh, this similarly work on uh, the responsive versions as well. So we have this primary variant, now we will press it and create a hover state of it as well. So for this, we will just fill it with a color. created a hover state right a basic hover state of this button now let us give a preview to it so we have this preview section and if i just hover things around you can see that our button is working really well now if we go on to our home section now this is you can see that uh, it has been created into a purple kind of border so it indicates that it is a component you can find the components on the assets panel as well so you can see 
what are the whatever components you have you can just go on to your assets section as we discuss components are global assets so you can find those into assets we will just double click to it and we will just land on to our component screen now if we click on a variant now let us talk about variant first what are variants so we have a button which has icon as well as text now we want a button which has just icon or which has just text so for that we create multiple variants of it the variants can be in this format or can be in uh, different sizes or different colors so you can just play around it and these are basically variants of a single a simple button or simple component that you have created so we'll click on this variant and uh, we will just remove this text from here and we have this just an icon button we'll just click on to it and give it a hover state we'll make quickly make those similar changes to it and uh, yeah so as you can see we have created a variant 2 as well of it now let us give it a preview so this work in similar fashion now if you just want to switch on instances like one now let us move on to a primary screen so on this side you can see we have a section of primary button that we have created and we have an option of variant so on whichever variant you want to switch we can just switch and you can just have a preview of it all right so now let us move on to variables so how you can create variables so first of all let us understand why variables are required as of right now if you can see on the screen i have this home button which is prepared right now i want to create a different variant of it right a different version of it and create a download button right so in our projects in ui ux in web design we have different buttons right different kind of buttons that share similar properties so we want to create that now how we can create that uh, if we double click on it it will just move more into the components section right component section but if you want to make changes now what do we what do we do so for this we create variables and variables are just kind of different variations of a button that of a button or a component that share similar properties so i want to create a download button which is sharing similar properties so i would create variable of it now if we think we want to create a download button what is required we require an icon and we require a basic text right a basic text so first of all we would kind of click onto the text and see this plus icons these are the indication of variables if we click on to the content and we will see an option of create a variable now with the variable we have plain text and formatted text so right now we will go on with the plain text and it would ask a bunch of things right so what is this this is basically a buttons name right so uh don't worry about it i was just trying and uh, these are just earlier created right so you will just give it a name and this are just now this is the text of this is linked with this, this variable right similarly we would do with this we will just kind of create the name will change the icon and we we'll just kind of give it an icons right icons name so we have now connected both of this primary button with a variable so now we will move on to our home screen we will just duplicate it and you can see uh we have an option of changing button's name and icon's name so we'll make this button's name as download and we will just get a download icon from the list of icons that we have right so yeah so i have got it 
Now as you can see, we have the height and width of this button which is fixed, right? So we can just move here and we can just fit those contents, right? So if you give it a preview, uh, let me add this to this canvas and if we give this a preview, you can see these are just working the way that primary button that we created. If we add this as well, you can just have a preview and these both buttons are working in similar manner. Alright, so that was it. That was the video all about. I will see you next time with some more design related concepts, web design related concepts, framework related concepts. And remember one thing, web designing is simple. So let's make it simple and keep it simple. Bye.